churches, like many families, are currently trying to balance their monthly budgets and make those valuable dollars stretch in a way that best honors God. We all want to make an impact in global outreach stewardship. Yet, as they consider expanding their involvement in missions, the world map in the church lobby can often too become the benchmark for a successful missions ministry. Churches trying to support missionaries so they can put pins in more countries or have a missionary on each continent. Frequently, churches support 10, 20, or 30 missionaries at small dollar amounts. This makes a broad impact, yet not a deep one. Churches should consider reducing their number of supported missionaries to perhaps five or less so they can dive deeper into those ministry lives. When investing more substantively into fewer missionaries, a church and its leadership will truly get to know their missionary in a greater way. As a relationship grows and trust develops, a congregation can care for the needs of the missionaries it supports as it would for their own members. Missionaries then would be more likely to be honest, forthright with their supporters they know and that they cared for them and that they were all in to their ministry. Regrettably, however, the vast majority of missionaries aren't meaningly cared for by a church family, not even their home church. Many missionaries have few people to turn to when in need, but a church deeply invested in a missionary is uniquely positioned to love and extend grace. Churches should continue to send short-term teams and interns if that's what the ministry needs. Additionally, church leaders should consider visiting the missionaries on their turf for a house call, spending time doing neglected chores in the missionary's home, babysitting their kids, helping with the grocery shopping, even counseling them. It's vital to get to know the missionaries in their environment. Walk in their shoes for a day, a few days. As your church continues to visit the same ministry site year upon year, your members will also get to know the national coworkers by a better understanding of the culture and the people, you'll have a greater and more knowledgeable passion for them and their needs. Both parties will then be better positioned to view each other within a brotherly relationship rather than a father-child relationship. Over time and through regular contact, a church can have a more substantive and fruitful impact on the missionary's ministry. As you get to know the missionaries and ministries, you can be viewed more like a friend and less like an ATM. This depth benefit not only benefits the missionary's ministry, but also the spiritual growth of your congregation. Everyone begins catching the vision for what it means to be a global Christian by spending time with your missionary every few years, whether during furlough or short-term trips, a substantive relationship will be created. And without substance, your missionaries will be less able and likely to open up to you. As a result, you'll be less able to likely to foster their spiritual health. Send them an email to let them know your church prayed for them today. Remember their birthdays, their anniversaries. With electronic gift cards, using WhatsApp, send them a text. Find them a vacation package. A larger financial contribution from your church to your missionaries will ensure two important things. One, their need for fewer supporters. This means less travel during their furlough. They also may visit your church for a couple of weeks instead of just one Sunday every four years. Many missionaries have 20 or 30 churches, dozens of individuals supporting them, and nobody can keep in contact with that many ministry partners. Missionaries with a small number of larger financial partners, however, can invest more deeply in those strategic relationships. When your church supports missionaries in international ministries by writing a small check once a month, neither you nor the missionaries receive a substantive life-giving benefit from the relationship. On the other hand, a generous investment of time Energy, finances will help your missionary feel love, and your church may grasp the Great Commission.